Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Anaisa Hokaro and today is and today is the first episode of At War With Myself. So I decided to film this series to take you guys on my journey of getting fitter. I know a lot of the time when you're trying it is lonely and it's not all the ups that you see on Instagram and everywhere else. It's a hard journey so I just wanted to share it because maybe some of you will get inspired, maybe you will see the reality of things. Um, the whole reason behind this series is actually a video I did in December um, which is called My Issue with Instagram Models, so I'll link it up there somewhere uh, or there. Um, and I just wanted to film this whole series. It is about trying to get fitter. It's about trying to get healthier. It's about changes in the physical body, but also in the mindset. It's about meal plans and sticking to um, sticking to your guns, basically. So I just wanted to film the entire journey and share it with everyone. Um, so I won't keep you guys any longer. This is the first episode and this is the why. I made a list of reasons why I'm starting this journey. Um, I feel like it is the great first episode for the series. It is the starting point for everyone is why you start so for many people it's different reasons but i really hope that once you start this journey it is truly personal to you it's because you want to do it um not because you feel like you're being pressured into it or because you want to look a certain way because of someone i really believe that going on this journey is really personal and you should want to do it because that's the only thing that's going to get you through it is coming back to those reasons why you started and today I have a list of five reasons that I want to share with you that I want to hold myself accountable for. I have started this journey many times you can see all my old videos there they're very cringy they're very high energy um, they're me about two years ago so I'm really hoping this time there's going to be more structure, there's going to be more commitment to it and 2020 I suppose is the year everyone wants to change because it's, it's a new decade so um, I'll just crack on with it I suppose. So um, reason number one is me wanting to get fitter. For me that means what does that mean to me? It means that I want to be able to do things that I physically cannot right now. Um, there is a lot of things out there that have weight restrictions or are physically demanding and I know that I would struggle doing them. I see getting fitter as getting your stamina up, um, getting your strength up, getting that endurance. And it's a mental thing as well, because um, you know that once you overcome those things in the gym or um, at sports, it changes how you think about things. So it is a very physical thing that I want to do for myself. Um, when I want to travel, I know I want to go hiking and I want to go swimming. And I want to be that person that gets up in the morning and goes for a run. But right now, it's just not possible for me. Um, I feel like my weight is always stopping me from doing that. Um, so that is the number one reason why I want to change. Uh, why I'm going on this journey is to get fitter. Um, the number two reason is that I want to get healthier. So I want to get healthier because I'm always ill. Um, as you can see in all these past videos, I'm constantly coughing. Um, I've always got a stuffy nose. Um, I'm always getting ill. I'm always getting tonsillitis as well. And I think before, um, when I weighed almost 100 kilos, I would have these really bad 
bad back problems as well. Um, I would get this really sore um, pain in my joint almost, in my hip, to the point where I couldn't bend down, I couldn't pick anything up off the ground, I had to lay in very specific positions to get to sleep, I had to sit in a very certain way, standing up and, and sitting down was really painful, um, so I really want to to change that, I want to get healthier, I want to do this for myself, um, and hopefully it will also help me reduce the stress, so it's really good for your mental health, um, and all of the good reasons why exercise is good for you is I want to start benefiting from that. And on top of it, you know, eating healthier is good for you. That's that's the whole reason why people feel happier because they feel lighter, they feel more energized because they're not putting junk into their food. So I really want to do that. I really want to get healthier on all the levels, mental health, physical health, um, my body being fitter. Um, all of the reasons combined, um, they're very interchangeable, um, but I think that's trying to break them down into categories is the best I can do. Um, so for my third reason, I am doing this because I want to challenge myself. I want to challenge myself and I want to challenge my body. I want to be able to run that 5k, I want to, you know, go climb that mountain, mountain hills all over here, uh, but no, I want to, I want to climb those mountains, I want to swim faster, and I want to be able to challenge myself at the gym, so lift more, and maybe, join, like, do sports and competitions, and, and do all these things, and really see how far I can take my body, um, I want to see the changes appearing, I want to eventually be toned, um and just see what I'm capable of. I feel like if I really push those boundaries, I'm gonna be open to a lot more things in the future. Um and just take life take life by the balls, I suppose, and really push myself and see what I can do. Um the whole point of challenging myself is to see how far I can go. I know I'm going around in a circle right now, but there's really no have a way to describe it you know my mum did a uh, half marathon before I want to do that with her I want to run with her I want to lift more I want to run faster I want to take the bike out and go on a on a mountain track and really see if I can do it um, and I feel by going on this journey I can really push my body further uh, so that's the third reason is challenging my body and then moving on to the fourth which really, I feel, ties in with everything I've just said. It's be more confident. I feel like being fitter, being able to run further, and eating better, and feeling better in my mind, mentally, I would be more confident because of that. It is not an issue I have with my body, like the way I look, because I can still dress for that. There's days where... You know, going to the shops is anxiety central, it is horrible. Um, but I really feel that by doing all these things and being able to see how much I can actually do, it gains confidence in itself. I want to be able to, you know, go to a shop and look in the mirror and be like, yeah, like, I can definitely wear that. Not like, oh, that's going to look horrible on me, but I'll try it on anyway. I want to... If someone asks me to go to paintball, I can straight away be like, yeah, I'll go, like, I'll do that, I'll try it. Because I've been able to do all these other things, I don't see why I couldn't do this thing. I don't see why I couldn't play paintball with you. I can run as for as long as you can. I'm not going to get tired really easily. I'm not going to be, like, a downer on the team kind of thing. So by doing all these things, I really want to be more confident. I feel like that's definitely going to raise those confidence levels right up. Um... So that's the fourth reason. They're not very long. I want to keep them very simple. Um, so number four is be more confident. And then finally, number five is, reason number five, is invest in my future self. This is something that I think a lot of people fail to do. Not that I'm an advocate for any of this, but 
I think people leave things to the last minute, like I have been doing for the past two years. If I had just taken the time to sacrifice my cravings then and my time and really stick to the gym, I would have been in a very different position right now. And I would have been in a very, very different position had I known how to eat healthier from the start. Um, from the point where, you know, I was buying my own food and I was kind of making my own decisions about what I put in my body. And a lot of it is about being educated, so that's another part of this series, is someone slamming so many doors out there, please stop. Drive away. So I feel like investing in myself for me means that, investing in myself for me means that two years from now, a year from now, I am going to thank myself today for taking a step and sticking to it. Um, commitment to the gym, to my trainer, to my diet, to... It's not a diet, that's the thing. I want to create that healthy lifestyle today. It's a habit. It's not a diet that you stick to for two months just to lose that amount of weight. Um, that's a whole different thing. For me, it's about creating a new life for myself in the future. It's about thanking myself today for taking the time to really think about what goes into my body, uh, for making myself stronger. And I always want to come back to this video to, to really see where it started, the reasons why, to motivate me through the hard times, which are ine ine inevitable. inevitable. Um, so, yeah, that is my five reasons. Um, I want to be fitter, I want to get healthier, I want to challenge my body, I want to be more confident and I want to invest in my future self. So if you're going on this journey yourself, write those reasons down, film them if you want, um, pin them up somewhere if you need a constant reminder, uh, put them on your phone, whatever your, your version of keeping something in mind is, I would strongly recommend doing that because the whole reason you started is the reason that should keep you motivated. It is so easy to lose track when things aren't going your way, you feel like you want to give up because what's the point? The point is why you started. So keep them simple. Like I have, all of these are so interchangeable. Getting fitter and getting healthier is very similar. Um, but if you can, just keep maybe five maximum. I wouldn't do any more than that. Um, maybe three top ones if you really are struggling to think of anything else. But honestly, keep them simple. I literally just wrote these down in here um, and did like little subsections, like um, what that means to me. But if you can just write it down somewhere, I honestly recommend it. I think this is really going to work for me, especially since I'm filming it. I really feel like I need to continue the series on. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching if you've gotten this far. Um, please do keep me accountable for everything. Um, I do read all the comments that people post on my videos. Um, the whole one that is there so far. Um, I do have an Instagram account created for this in particular. It's called The Corolla Project. I'm going to link it down in the description below. Um, if you want to see my personal account, that is Nightowl Carol on Instagram as well, that's on Twitter. Uh, please follow me on there if you want to keep up to me, um, keep up with me um, on the days that I film these things. Um, coming 2020, I'm going to be at uni a lot more, focusing on my work. So if these are pre-recorded, I'm really sorry, uh, but I feel like I can kind of get away with these ones where I'm not really filming myself at the gym. Um, I think there's going to be quite a lot of parts to these series. I'm going to try and keep them pretty short, um, but you will get regular updates from me. I'm thinking every Friday, uh, Fitness Friday, uh, to post these. So we'll see how that goes in the year. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. I love engagement on my videos. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below any ideas that you have, anything that you want me to explain, or if you just want to start a conversation, um, I, I reply to everything. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.